So let's continue our travels, folks. You know, I don't know, my head's spinning from all these great ideas. So now let's move on our travels from Spain to China, where we'll hear from our next keynote speaker, Marco Chen. Marco firmly believes that when the global design community collaborates like we're doing today and explores collectively, the possibility to solve the unimagined is limitless. He is general manager of Square Industrial Design. He is the founder of Ready Minute and vice president of industrial design of the Industrial Design Society at Shunde. He has designed for a bunch of companies like uh, Medea, Vanward, Whirlpool, many, many others. He's also a visiting professor at the Anhui uh, Architecture University. And what he believes is by carefully perceiving life and the world, we can design and create products that are more touching. So please welcome Marco Chen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for, uh, thank you for I uh, take this uh, opportunity to share some experience. I want to take the first take this chance to thank the World Design Organization and Economy Promotion Bureau of Shender People's Government of Foshan for offering and hosting this unique event. Allow designers, scholars, and practitioners from all over the world to come together and share our perspective. My topic here today is China innovative design influence in developing countries industry. My name is Marco. I'm a Chinese designer. I have 16 years of experience in product designs and developments in working with the foreign brands. I founded two companies. They are Square Designs, which focus on the industrial designs and relay design business. The second company is Remilet, founded in 2019. This original brand company is incubate through Square Design. And it focuses on design development and sales in pet use products. I'm going to share three parts. The first one, the design instruction shaped by the global situation. The second is involving the process of China design's industrialization. The third one, the opportunities of global design cooperation. Let's begin with the understanding the current global situation and its effect. Why not? The world we are living in is facing many kinds of uh, uncertainties, including energy crisis, the pandemic, environment pollution, and shortage in medical resources. All these aspects of realities affect the trajectory and trend of our design industry. The world is changing and we are responding. The global crisis will affect the whole human relation and the re reformation of the design industry. It's also indirectly affect the trajectory of the design train. From these pictures, we can see how all the factors in second bubbles will affect the way of communication, which will change the human relationship, and then is our industrial structures. For instance, our business models, digital transformations, consumption habit, supply chain, and etc. It's not a chain reactions. Under those factors, as part of design industries, we must add and adjust accordingly on how we communicate through internet. The bomb of metaphors, concepts, and application, 
the change of market research method and the change of design methods will need to adapt to the new pace of change. Among the new generation of the main consumer force, their understanding of life has changed as well. Their attitudes towards life, object, future plans, and fashion concert, concert is very different from the people who were born in the 70s and 80s. We should study and try to understand their interactions and where they are coming from to better guide and help their growth and how our business models can integrate into their list in a greater degree. Based on our analysis, this new generation in China and their understanding to the society can be categorized into six groups. The first group, they are happy to spend money on their happiness. The second group, they are people who pursue aesthetic, good-looking appearance and a pet companion. The third group, they are people who spend most of time indoor and love the virtual world. The first groups, they are people who follow the most popular things at the moment, such as sensory products. The fifth group, they are healthy conscious, conscious, they are health conscious people, and they need to demonstrate their pursuit of being health conscious. Therefore, the demands for the products integrate in healthy and fashion will increase. The sixth group, they are people who like to use all kinds of uh, social media platform to research and investigate a product before buying. And the second phase is the involving process of China design's industrialization. The innovative designs from China have changed significantly compared to the past. The influence of Chinese designs on an industry has been shown in many cases, many design different brand appearance. Among those design different brands, I have stack three to share with you today. They are Morphe Witches, Xiaomi, and Remilot. This brand, they all use the design thinking to push an industry or a business to a different direction. Morphe Witches, a British born brand in recent years, our local designers make a lot of uh, change and imp implementations in the designs and the function of Morphe Witches products. Based on the needs and propensity of Chinese consumer while ma maintaining the brand concept, this is a design with shade example that based on the Chinese Chinese market lead. The designers make a lot of the attempts on designing details while maintaining the original Murphy Witches design language. This is a steaming cooker. This design integrates many aspects of food preparing and cooking habits in China. Through design localizations, the Murphy Witches brands receive high market recognition and thus increase their market values in Chinese market. The second brand is Xiaomi. This is a global no brand and it's covered many products categories. The method of the design driven of Xiaomi brand is to offer a product through minimalist designs and high quality execution. This is because Xiaomi already have a fan economy and it allowed Xiaomi to execute standardized design to reform the entire supply chain. And even, in, and even reconstruction to eliminate resources that without competitiveness. The Xiaomi products ecosystem delivers a standards, standard, standardized and unified this product identity to each user. Through the years of reformation different by designs, 
create many high efficiency automatic workshop. This picture shows a light all factories that can operate 24 by 7, low intervention needed. Wrap it up. This is a project I started two years ago. It focused on the pet use and pet care products designs and development. In China, pet products is rapidly developing this industry. As I mentioned earlier, the change of a society, so the change of the social structures also the change also changed the living style of the young generation. This change incubates many original pet use products brand. The development purpose of these products not only need to meet the functional expected aspect of requirement, but it also need to put the user's spiritual needs into consideration. This is a new category to the living style of new generation. This is a pet hair dryer set designed and manufactured by Remillard. These products can quickly show the pet body care list at home. It is a structural innovation resource results in competitive products costs, which translate the popularities and sales. This is a pet use water drinking bottles, which received a several international design award in 2020. This product not only designs to meet the list of the feeding our pets in our door, but to gender, but to strengthen the spiritual from and interactions between human and pets. This is a pet scratching house. It has a high quality in decoratedness and payabilities for the human and our pets. There are many brands in China that are driven by designs. Based on the excellent business and supply chain structure here in China, I believe there are more new products we can work with different brands in different regions outside the Chinese market. The last part is the opportunities of China innovative design abilities and global design cooperation. In developing countries, we have more of natural resources, great potential of market growth, population advantage, and more. I believe how to combine China's design experience with developing countries will be a long-term and important and in, an important topic. In 2018 and before, the cooperation between the foreign brand and Chinese brand, Chinese market, just focus on the design service. For example, study in design training, appearance designs, structural designs, and cons consultation and service. Among the current market environments and the resources advantage in China, I believe there are more we can do to create the high market values through design. The future, the future design cooperation should be about brand definition, product definition, industry upgrade driven by designs, products incubation, and designs between the design and industry integrations and more. So there are many leading companies and institutions in China where allow designers to develop products in a more complex thinking systems. In this line, I'm showing you a design thinking models. On the high of team thinking, we have cultures, energy, industry, economy, health, education, and subspecialities. On the risk of thinking, we have designs, manufacturer, e-commerce, recyclable, and productivity. On the depths of excursions, we need to consider more five-shorted factors. In conclusion, 
we need to take into consideration of every aspect three dimensionally. Then we arrange the weighing with different characteristics and needs of each part project. Only if we st study and research far enough, we can create more with a high market value res results. Therefore, for the future corporations, we should think globally to reconstruct our resources and designers will play more of an important role in this process. For developing situation of Shenzhen, we have over 20% design company has self-developed incubation abilities. And 47% design company has original brand and 10 design companies turnover is more than 1.6 million US dollars per year. And two design companies, the whole turnover is up to 2 billion per year. And also we have uh, 3,500 design firm and 100,000 designers working in Shenzhen. We have a fine design internationalization area for a total of 220,000 square meters. I firmly believe the cooperation between China innovative designs and design industrialization will create many more possibilities in the future. As our banner suggests, design for the unimagined, let design be the two to break the boundaries and barriers. Thanks again, the World Design Organization and Economic Prom Promotion Bureau of Shenzhen People Government of Foshan for these great opportunities. I hope we will have more collaborations with WDO in the future. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Marco. That is, thank you for that uh, peek into what's happening at design in Shunda, design that's happening in China. I really appreciated the connection that you made between how design is changing and the trends in the new generation, whether it is the rise of well-being, the new spirituality, um, interest in pets. So that is so interesting. What strikes me, of course, is in your last slide, uh, you talk about thinking globally, you know, and I think uh, some of the concerns that you show, we, are, we see them in different ways in different uh, countries, right? So I think we're at a time, not just global, but global times of thinking globally, designing locally. And I believe that that is a really interesting edge of designing for the unimagined. So thank you very much for sharing that. I really enjoyed your commitment to taking these experiences that you've incubated in Shunda and actually helping those to grow design capability in other places in developing countries. So thank you very much. Really appreciate that.